we played some games and then we went to Stephanie's mom's house and had dinner over there. It was really good. And for dessert, we had these amazing, delicious cupcakes Tiffany mom made at dinner. I met the for the cake boss. We were all talking about my YouTube videos and he wanted to be in one. Lucky for him, I carry my camera everywhere I go, so I pulled it out and began filming. Let me talk about my experience with CP. <laughs> Not my, my experience with people who I know who have this experience. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I became very interested. Wait, you have to introduce yourself. Yeah. I am the Florida Cake Boss, <laughs> a.k.a. Stephen Richmond, and I became introduced to CP about a little over, almost four years ago, <laughs> when I met my newest friend's daughter, and it was funny, I met her, and she invited me over to her house, and like the day before I came over to meet her family, her daughter, who had CP and had gotten a teaching degree and had gone on like 49 interviews and 52, 52 49, <laughs> give or take, and had been unsuccessful, that day she got a job at a school. So she was all excited. So I thought I really never met her before, but that was a big accomplishment. So I went out and I bought her a cross pen and pencil set. She probably has no idea where it is at this point of her life, but it was a very nice thing to do. So I knocked on the door, and her mom answered the door, and I had something gift wrapped. So of course her mom thought it was for her, and I said, no, no, this isn't for you. This is for your daughter, who I was just meeting for the first time. Oh my God. <laughs> so she came up to me, and I said, oh, wow someone with cerebral palsy and she got a teaching job and now she has a nice pen and pencil set and we met and she told me to relax she thought I was a little unrelaxed so she told me to relax so that's how we met and then I saw it. she lives a very as normal a life as someone can live that has to deal with that situation and I would say that in the almost four years I've been acquainted with Stephanie, and I think she'd agree. I don't treat her any differently because she has whatever situation, and I treat her the same, you know? So there's so certain things she can't do. Sometimes she goes on a walk and falls down before it even starts. <laughs> Not everybody can do that. So, you know, I say if you fall, you know what I say? Get up. Let's go. And that's what I tell her when she falls in other parts of her life, not falling down on the ground. But I told her that, you know, when there's a down, there's an up. When there's an up, there's a down. You just got to dust yourself off. And if someone doesn't want to hire you or hang out with you or listen to you, then that's their problem. Right? It's your problem. So the moral is, so I became acquainted with this, I call it a situation, I don't even know what we call it, that she deals obstacle. with. Obstacle. Obstacle, challenge, whatever. She deals with it very well. Marion deals with it well, but I especially deal with it well, because that's just how I am. I am a dealer. Oh and now I've met you, Charisse, the writer of the blog, so now I have another experience with the situation, and I'd say... We're dealing very normally with one another. I asked mm -hmm. you a few questions. I like to ask questions. What you did, what you did, everything like that. You came into Fort Lauderdale. Eric was a little tardy picking you up, but that didn't freak anybody out. It happens on a Friday. It happens every day of the week. Well, Charisse, if someone runs habitually late, you know how you fix that? Ow. You don't tell them actually what time they're supposed to be there. You tell them an hour before. <laughs> that way they're always on time. Okay. Problem solved. That's what I do. 
I solve problems. <laughs> so anyway, I think that it was lovely that you guys did that walk today in the rain. And I'm so glad you were able to visit us here and uh, see what a great cook I am. Made you a barbecue. Amazing. Amazing barbecue. And we welcome you. You're welcome to come back another time. Mm -hmm. We'll continue this where we left. You don't have to just come for a walk. You can come just to come. Okay. But, uh, we have a pool too. So when we come back, we'll go swimming together. Awesome. All right. Thank okay. you. God bless. Make sure you put that part in there. We also did an escape room. I wasn't allowed to film any of it for obvious reasons, but we did take a photo in the end because we did make it out of the escape room with like three minutes left. We all walked together and made quite the team. And now I can check that out my bucket list. I found that as Katie, we had dinner at the Hibachi place. It was really good. And the mall, outlet mall, it was in with that beautiful. CC the mailman. The last day I was in Florida, it was me and Stephanie. She brought me to her mom's cake shop. And I'm loving all the amazing cakes. So incredible. Actually, look at that cake. We had Chinese food for dinner, my favorite kind of food. And we also did a YouTube live chat that night. For those who saw it and watch and chat with that, thank you so much for joining. That was a lot of fun. The whole trip was a lot of fun. I had such a great time for that. I got to see that my bucket list that is KM and a 5K. I love this spending time with my friends. I'm hoping to go back to visit them in the future. Thank you so much again, Tiffany and Eric, for everything. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Bye. Remember to subscribe.